houses. Mm -hmm. Every one of them is always one, two, three. I just noticed that. Three. Huh? Every one of them I've always done. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Even if it's not complete. They go around at least three times. Yeah, so important. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as coincidences. And I just noticed that. Mm -hmm. I would always say, why do I keep doing it in three, three rows? Even if it's not complete. Because the path is never complete. Mm. There's always something that's going to want you to keep going over and over. Find the signal, the truth. Mm -hmm. That's right. The end is when God say it's over. Mm. And you're at eternal peace. But until then, following the path through the hole. The rabbit hole. There. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're starting to get this thing here. Yeah. That's right. Because for me to just realize that, mm -hmm. that's nobody but the spirits talking to me. Nobody but. I've been doing this for years. Why I just realize it now. Now is sets that of threes, Which adds up to 33 eventually. As above, so below. Mm -hmm, exactly. The three goes into me. Exactly. Goes into our Father, the one true God, the Most High. Yep. All these years, I just know. Say it a good feeling when He show up, okay. when He just when He show Himself, he show and you do. And I don't even realize it until now. Spiritual work. Yep, that's the spirits letting me know that they're proud of what I do. For that's me right. to just realize it. That they are a part of what you do. Right. And I handcrafted the trail. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is We're going to get this here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, look at y'all, boy. Boy, look at y'all. Galagichi for real. Yacha. The gateway on the 33rd. Which way is it saying? 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 All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got you. All right, all right, very good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Temperature is rising. So I was saying, everything you feel, mm -hmm. right? I want you to just think about it. You just. I want you to be conscious. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Now, if you smell whatever you smell. Let you know. If you get a taste in your mouth. Let you know. That's right. Got you. If you get like an extreme thought, you know if you want to communicate whatever it is. Right. But I really want to know because they're going to be, they already are talking mm -hmm. to us. Right. So this is the work we are doing. Right. Here we go. So do you want me to pause and save the uh the power? Um until we get to the location? Alright. Actually, so we got a we got a full charge. Okay. Because so, I, I remember when we was talking about it does this so can drain it. Okay, right. I'm expecting that to happen, right, right, right. So I'm prepared. Right. So yeah, if we um I got the um the master charges on everything, Good. we got a full charge on everything Good. right now. I brought my power bank too just in case. Yeah. Oh, that's me. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Everything for a reason. Everything for a reason. Now, no reporter while you're driving. Oh, he's sitting. I got you. Charleston is the top city in the world. We are now on our 11th year in a row. 11 years. This 2020 will be its 12th year in a row. Number one city for tourism. So before it happens, I am now predicting its victory. They will be announcing again, number one city in the world for tourism. Number one city in the world, 12 years consecutively for tourism. So what is tourism exactly? Tourism is the history of that said city. That city
city's history. The history of Charleston is slavery. And to be specific, Charleston was created to sell slaves, to sell slaves. And first, you have to break them. So Charleston perfected hurt, torture. Charleston perfected torture. And for torturing the souls, as Charleston did, the most beautiful city in the world where beauty comes from pain. They say pain is beauty. <laughs> well, ain't no hurt like Charleston's hurt. Ain't no pain like Charleston's pain. Number one city in the world for teaching somebody how to hurt. Yeah. So we gonna see the hurt in ways that most people cannot see. We're gonna walk down some of these footsteps, the pathways in this holy city, in this portal city when the gateway is open. So this is going to be spiritual evidence is what I'm expecting. And the symbols, three, three, six, so one, three, three, six. So the threes, and you said it, three, you said it again. The threes kept showing up all day, mm -hmm. all day. The threes kept showing up in amazing, in amazing ways. No such thing as coincidence. There are some people that are made to read symbols, not to learn symbols, but we are naturally symbol readers. So interpreting the signs is what this evening is all about. We are in Charleston, South Carolina, <clears throat> on King Street. We're on King Street, the King's Highway. Uh -huh. The King's Highway goes from Charleston, South Carolina, up the East Coast to Boston, Massachusetts. And then it continues on to Maine, known as the King's Highway. King Charles II, when he created this slave state, King Charles stole a city after battling the Spanish and pushing them down further south to what is called Spanish Florida, which is famous for the Gallo Wars. Well, this city is the beginning of the most profitable highway in the country, King Street. Popularly known as Little Jerusalem. Mm. But no black businesses are allowed. Charleston. King's Highway, Little Jerusalem, the shopping district, the entertainment district, the Jewish district. No black businesses wanted. King Street, church steeples everywhere. Church steeples everywhere. We have more churches than Rome. Number one city in the world for churches. We are going to understand exactly what these churches are all about. Slaughtering their runaway slaves. So that church steeple, that runaway slave lookout tower, windows in 360 degrees, 360 degrees, 360 degrees, every direction. All eyes on you from anywhere, from everywhere in Charleston. A runaway slave lookout tower can always put eyes on you. More churches than Rome. I wonder why. Okay, okay. 
Right. Confirm that. Number one city in the world for slave history. But we got all white tour guides. And two popular coons, two liars. Alfonso Brown and Al Miller, lying coons, lying ass old men, liars. Partners. What kind of partners are y'all to, Al and Al? You can't make this up. Selling your soul for money. You sell your soul, Alfonso Al Miller. Coons now. You don't teach the truth on Gullah. If you're not telling the world that Jesus Christ is Gullah, then you are a sellout coward. This, this is the blood of God. 1353 Hebrew. Look it up yourself. The law. The law of God. No more lies. Let's talk about it. Coons, run away because your time is up. All of you liars, disappear. Your time is up. This holy city. Gala Jack. We're going to get this truth. Godfrey Kill. Geechee Gala Jack Black. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about this truth. Mother Emmanuel Church, the big white church. Mother Emmanuel. Emmanuel is a Hebrew name. God is with us. Emmanuel. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to get this information. Hmm. Number one city in the world for slave history. And don't nobody want to talk about it. No sweat. No sweat. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see what they sold the most amount of slaves in the entire new world. The slave auction market where all of the tour guides, even the black liars, Al and Al, where they say we never sold any slaves on the slave auction market. They say the slaves only worked there. Well, we know the slaves worked. That's all they did was work and die. You worked them to death. After three years, if they were lucky, they would be dead from work exhaustion or starvation. If they were unlucky, four years before they would die. Wicked ass city. Now we got wicked liars lying on the, on the innocent black. Jewelry that you stole, the jewelry of God, Joel chapter 3. Read that. We mm. so the first call, I'm just listening, okay. All right, it's coming up, right, child? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The slave auction market. The slave auction market. 33 steps up front. 33 steps to the top of what is a trophy. When you buy a trophy, you're buying a slave standing on a slave auction block. Charleston has slave auction blocks everywhere. But the lion ass tour guides say their carriage steps step up into the carriage. Step up to the truth. All about that. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about this truth. Any tour guide, let's have a conversation. Selling lies and now the customers think they, they got the truth. Lying with the truth on the, telling the truth with lies, they don't work. Wow, look at this. Look at, look at this market, right? But then barracoons, archway barracoons everywhere. And look at the huge ship. Ass ship. Wow. Big giant ship at the end of the slave auction market. Christmas trees. Every day in Charleston is Christmas time. Christmas trees, 
are hanging trees, Jeremiah 10 and 1. That's why we don't deal with cutting trees down and decorating them with ornaments. The ornaments in Charleston were the body parts of the slave. Mm -hmm. Wow. So now we turn off of Market Street onto Church Street. St. Philip's Episcopal Church, a runaway slave lookout tower. Anywhere in Charleston, a church steeple can put eyes on you. They love to tell you that. Anywhere in Charleston, a church steeple can put eyes on you. Why for? Why? Well, because it's a runaway slave lookout tower. They want to make sure they can always keep their eyes on their property. So now, this street used to be called Amen Street. Well, it changed the name to Cumberland Street. And we're about to understand why they did that. We're going to get this. And then we're going to see a slave right in that darkness right there. Right through the darkness, we're going to see a slave hanging behind the bars of that barracoon. Barracoon. A barracoon is a Portuguese term for a slave jail. A slave jail. Barracoon. Barracoon is spelt B-A-R-R-A bar A coon. Damn. Barracoon. <laughs> Damn. We're going to see the bars to the slave jail. We're going to see the slave auction blocks. We're going to see a slave hanging by their neck. In Charleston, this holy city is far from holy. It's a wicked city. It's a wicked city. Wow. We're going to feel this. Go check this out. Do I go ahead and put it on pause real quick? Yeah, you just get it. Okay. 